Hey, it's Mike. So today I've got something special for you. So let's talk about cloning Epix in Jira because it is a not that simple task. And well, of course, no, regarding Agile methodology, Epix are supposed to be a large user story. But let's be honest, sometimes we use them to group our issues into this little like sub subsections. Yeah, maybe we should use components for that. But well, that's the life. And let's assume like me, you have an epic with let's say 50 issues connected to it. And each sprint, or maybe every two weeks, every four weeks, you have to repeat that operation. So in Jira, unfortunately, even using automation is not that simple tasks. What if I can tell you that you can speed up this process and automate it, and it can be done in minutes, in literally like few clicks. So today, this video is actually sponsored by Vili, so thank you so much for to, for to do that. So we're gonna cover actually, we're gonna cover a, a plugin called Template Epic Cloner for Jira. And I've got actually three things for you. So I'm gonna show you how to install it, how to configure it, and how to actually start using it. And the third part of our demo is gonna be dedicated to I call this smart values, but they call it placeholders. This is guys, something which I've been actually testing for the last two weeks. Amazing. That one functionality <laughs> can save you so much time. I'm gonna actually show you why. All right, so let's actually get to it. And of course, the link to the plugin you're gonna find in the description. If you're watching on LinkedIn, you're gonna find this, of course, in the first comment. Plus everything what I will be actually showing you that, that includes documentation, marketplace, uh, also, you're going to find that information in the description. All right, now let's get to it. All right, so now let's actually start exploring this plugin on Atlassian Marketplace. Great review so far. I very, very, I'm, I'm absolutely positive there will be more great reviews because I'm already introduced to this plugin for a few, 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 few large clients and we love it. And of course, you know, you can actually spend some time reading that documentation, but you don't have to because we've got a full demo, which I'm going to show you. But now let's actually start from very important part, which is installation. And yes, uh, that plugin works for Jira Cloud and for the Jira Data Center. But I will be honest with you, I only tested this, this I only tested it on Jira Cloud, but I know developers told me it works in very almost identical way on Jira Data Center. Okay, so don't forget that you've got 30 days free trial, but I still highly recommend you, if you are not sure about this plugin, to maybe test it on your um, staging environment. However, this plugin is so tiny, it's not gonna affect um, in related to speed your Jira whatsoever. So if you want to test it on the production, that's no problem. Of course, you can do it, but I highly recommend it to do it actually on uh, sandbox if you have it or some 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 staging environment like I said before. Okay, installation is super, super simple. Of course, you now you're gonna find a link to the plugin in the description, but if you go to Jira Marketplace and find template Epic Cloner for Jira by Vilisoft, you only need to do one thing, just click it, try it, free that yellow button. Super simple process. But I know sometimes you guys have been reporting to me that there was some issue actually installing uh, plugins from, from the marketplace. So sometimes I recommend to do it actually from Jira. Again, that process is very simple. You just need to go to apps, explore more apps, copy, of course, the name of the plugin. There you go. We're just going to put that, click on that. And of course I can't do it because my plugin is already installed. And I believe it, 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 it also gonna see, try it, try it. I think it's try it, try it free. And of course, 30 first, uh, 30 days, 30 days is gonna be free of charge, yeah? Okay, and when it's ready, actually, you don't have to configure anything because you can start just straight away using it. Okay, so now let's do our demo and like this. So I will be actually using this for my uh, Scrum project. However, it works for uh, for Kanban, for Scrum, or if you're using actually team manage project and you have Epics because that functionality is connected to Epics. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I highly recommend you to actually test it on your Scrum or Kanban. Yeah. And as you can see, I've been doing so many demos. So I've got actually already a lot of, lot of, lot of tickets. By the way, great, great functionality to actually produce a lot of tickets in Jira because sometimes we need that, yeah? Okay, so what do you need to do? We'll be actually focusing 
on the EPIC, which is, by the way, that GRI is with, of course, some sample data, but um, you can create your own ticket, but you need to have an EPIC with attach them some issues. So in my case, I've got this block section. I believe I've got something like 20 to 30 issues over there. Okay, so you can do it, of course, in a few ways, but I highly recommend you to do it like follow my steps, which is going to be, I'll be using that I call this full screen mode. Yeah, so let's actually uh, go open new tab. There you go. And my epic is already there. It's called DS26. I don't know, I've got something like maybe 15 to 20 issues connected to that epic. It doesn't really matter, they only sample data. So from the right hand side, we need to navigate, of course, to meatballs, which is actions. And you're going to find that new, <laughs> new actually uh, many, many option, which is called, of course, clone template. Yeah? You go to clone template. And now, guys, this is where the whole magic is going to happen. So the plugin is going to load. And first question by default, of course, is going to be our uh, default destination because obviously, obviously, you can clone it to other projects. Yeah, this is very important. Okay, so blog update version, God, I have to do it now, version seven. So you can imagine how many demos I've been doing before. And why I need to change this? Because, of course, this is going to be the new name of my epic. Yep, yeah, there we go, seven. Uh, assign, I'm not going to select assign. Again, due date, whatever, we're going to set something, 27, why not? And of course, you know, if you just want to have a fixed version, you can do it, no problem. Now, clone components. This is so, so, so important because by default, because you remember, the subtasks are not included. So if you want to do it with subtasks, if you do it in comments, if you do it with links, make sure you select that option too. But in my case, I am only going to do it with, let's say, links and comments. Why not? I'm going to actually, I'm going to this time leave a comment. Again, you can actually, the next one, epic linked issues. So linked issues, clone strategy, linked issues, clone to the project which could exist and links issues clone to the same project that every text. And if you select the second option, you will have a chance right now to also change that um, our, our, for example, our source to a different issue type. Yeah? So they will be cloned, not from a story, but it will be actually next one task. So pretty much self-explementary. We don't have to cover this, but in my case, I'm going to actually leave this. But just to let you know, that option is, of course, available for you. So I'm going to leave this as it is because I don't want to really change that. And now we're going my method <laughs> because I've been saying this a few times wrongly. My method is actually going from the left hand side to the right hand side. Probably you're going to see from this because camera. So please remember from left hand side to the right hand side. So you can actually pick whatever issues you want. You don't have to clone absolutely everything. But in my case, because it's simple and for the demo, I'm going to select everything. And now this is also where the whole magic happens because you can actually set in bulk like, for example, if I want to change everything, every, every single priority to high, there you go. So now it is applying for everyone. Can you see how cool that that one functionality guys can save you literally tons and tons of time? Yeah. Of course, you know, summary, we've got summary, we've got description. I'm not going to touch description. Assign. Yes, I am going to actually change the assignee to me. Why not? Normally, we don't really recommend that probably if you watch my videos, but in this case, I'm going to do it. Um, but hold on one second, because with the summary, I'm just going to show you after that, with that, that quick demo, how to utilize this placeholders, that, that smart voice, something in my opinion, absolutely amazing. Okay. Now due date, of course, I'm going to go for override and select something, whatever, something random doesn't really matter to me. Uh, apply bang. It is there. Yeah. Estimates. If I want estimates, if I want fixed version. But what if, for example, one of the field is missing, which you already, which you would like to do it, and well, it's not on the list. Not a problem. Why? Because you have something like additional fields. And in my case, I will be using components. So go for components. Components. There you go. And in components, I'm gonna be using backend. Why not? And override values because. <laughs> That's what I need. Cool. So last check, everything's fine. I selected everything. God, I've done it so many times without actually selected any issues. 
And now let's do clone. So of course, I'm not spinning up this process. You can actually see this live. I'm not absolutely touching mouse. I'm not touching anymore. <laughs> that, is auto oh, that is fully automated. And I can only tell you, I've been doing this for about um, my absolutely like top, top, top was something like 200, about 250 tasks. And it is less than less than a minute. Yeah, look at this. DS110 is already there. Let's actually have a look. So because GI is actually automatically that provides us to his DS110. Done. I have another epic with block section update version seven. And of course, all attached issues that includes comments, that includes whatever I want. And that also includes, of course, my due date. All right. So now the last part probably like the coolest thing let's talk about placeholders let me actually check the time not bad today so what is a placeholder placeholder as i told you this is like a some kind of like a smart values yeah so if of course you know there will be linked to this actually page in the description um but generally speaking mm, there, there, there's sets, sets. <laughs> here's the list of placeholder available, like of variables. Yep. So it means, for example, you can specifically update summary. You just want to, for example, add a time or parent key or the name or the current time or the current date. Yeah. So I highly, highly, highly recommend you to actually have some fun with this. You've got an example, you've got some descriptions, like for example, current user name no problem and you can actually place them in any available space in that plugin all right so maybe let's actually test it and i would like to maybe use uh, my project key so why not um you can actually yeah, you can actually, uh, experiment with data experiment with custom fields experiment with components no problem however just just for the demo we will be actually only using project key why not okay so you need to be let with this actually a little bit careful why because especially in the description sometimes you actually treat this as that quote so you need to make sure that is not quoted but is actually as the plain text so please remember especially in the description the rest of the field doesn't really matter yeah okay so now let's actually do another cloning but using smart i'm going to show you something which <laughs> probably could knock your socks off so let's get to it uh, let's go back to the backlog Let's again explore my uh, blog section update. And again, you know, because I would like to open this in the full screen mode, I'm going to go to my action, go to clone template. Here you go, loading, loading, loading. There you go. So now I need to, of course, put version eight. Wow, I will, I will have very soon close to 900 tickets okay and again you know doesn't really matter i don't really care about this i can of course do it with, with subtask i can actually select everything doesn't really matter for me but let's actually explore that placeholder so yes as i told you you have actually it is it is a part of the documentation but don't worry because you if you would like to learn a little bit more about placeholders you can click on that right hand side button on the placeholders and there you go this is actually where you can actually copy them and what they've added i think they, like recently i haven't actually seen this before you can copy the placeholder to the clipboard which is great why because as i told you before sometimes jira was adding this as basically as like a, a format uh, and it, it, it was little, causing just that little little issue <laughs> with with the description yeah so what we're gonna do we actually gonna just have some fun with with one maybe one what what whatever we're gonna use we're gonna use project 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 key we got the project key there you go why not or project name yeah it could be project name this time i'm gonna go for project name so go back and now i just for fun you know i don't think it's actually the right way to do it however look at this i'm gonna go for summary click edit and i'm gonna set value prefix yeah and i'm gonna set this dash yeah apply to all bang <laughs> look at this that's just th that that one functionality to me it can save just so much time and of course you know if you want to do a description why not let's 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 go to the description let's go to the description yeah and of course you know you can actually add this you just be careful it needs to be of course as the plain text very 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 important apply to all there you go 
and the rest one I'm gonna assign it to me why because I think I've got one user which is gonna cause me problems due date I'm gonna ignore this time estimates I'm gonna ignore fixed version I'm ignoring this time again I have to make sure that everything is selected and we go for clone there we go cloning 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 again not touching keyboard <laughs> I'm not touching mouse that process is very 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 fast there we go and 126 is already there and can you see my smart value which is of course the placeholder being actually placed into the description plus it is of course in the comments yeah however this one is here probably I would just need to a little bit little bit maybe improve it because that format just been just been actually uh, probably just copy the format but again you know it works absolutely fine because my demo scram that's the name of the project has been copied yeah all right guys okay this is going to be it for this video thank you very much for watching and don't forget that in the description you're going to find a link uh, to the marketplace plus don't forget you've got 30 days free trial and if you check the price <laughs> i don't think you're going to find anything cheaper than this plugin Okay, that's it for me. Thank you so much. Hope you subscribe to the channel and I'm going to see you next time.